and gentlemen, welcome here to Pro Wrestling Powerhouse TV. We are here with legendary trainer Pat Buck here with us, joining us. Legendary, yes. Yeah. Legendary to all the PWS guys, uh, and I'm sure around the independent scene, but we're happy to have you on our show today. Glad you could join us and to talk about the PWS school. Uh, so talk a little bit about uh, why you started the school. Well, I started the school because I realized there was a real void in independent wrestling and pro wrestling for people to be trained to make this like their dream come true. Uh, look, I haven't really, there may be a lot of people watching that may know, not know who I am, and uh, I've come to terms with that, I accept that. But the thing is with me is I kinda, when compared to pretty much almost every single person in the industry period, I don't know if there's been someone who's been in more training camps and dojos and has had more guidance and been in official training schools than me. Uh, I put a lot of time in, in different places all over the country to kind of own my craft. And though I never got that major opportunity to kind of make it in uh, World Wrestling Entertainment or wherever, I kind of really had a knack for training guys, uh, for promoting, for booking, for doing things like that. So I thought it would be, uh, after coming back to the New York area and working for a couple other idiots that didn't really know what they were doing, I decided it would be way better to just take it and do it all myself and uh, start the Pro Wrestling Syndicate Training School. And, uh, well, for those who don't know who you are, uh, what kind of background can you give the, the audience of who you are and, you know, as far as your training? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm just a guy from New York that loved pro wrestling. I started when I was, like, 16. I started in New York, did my basic one year at independent training school. Uh, then from there, I was kind of all over the place. I moved to Florida, spent some time at Dory Funk. That's another reason why I started at wrestling school, because 90% of them are rip-offs and they're out for your money. They're out to get your money up front and kick you out. They don't care about you. Um, I went to Dory Funk School in Florida, which was exactly what I'm trying to say. It's a terrible school. Don't go there. Sue me if you want to, Dory. I don't care. Uh, was down there for a couple months. Um, went up to New England, had a bunch of great schools up there over a guy named, uh, over in Slam Tech Wrestling. It's another good school. Uh, did New England Independence, New York Independence, Jersey. Uh, moved to OVW. I spent four and a half years in the developmental system for WWE. Uncontracted, but doing everything that a contract guy does. Training with Al Snow, training with Rip Rogers. Uh, was my life for four and a half years. Uh, got a lot of good knowledge on there. Then I went to NXT in Florida. Um, again, uncontracted, but uh, ended up joining their beginner program because I just wanted to be one of those guys that, you know, never said no and no matter what, I was going to get into WWE. Uh, so I joined the beginner program and everyone's like, what, the, what are you doing here? And by the end of the beginner program, I was helping teach the beginner program. So, uh, and that was with like Kern and Dr. Tom and Norman Smiley and guys like that. Uh, so I got the stamp of approval from a lot of guys. I always did right by wherever I went. I uh, got all the knowledge. I got, uh, you know, all my, all my friends can vouch for me. They, they know what I'm capable of. I was just never the guy that got the deal. So after uh, I kind of had it out and said, you know what, screw WWE. They're not gonna hire me, I don't care. Uh, moved back up to New York, spent some time training for other guys, and then uh, started my first show with PWS and said, you know what, I'm gonna join a school. And uh, not join a school, start a school. And that's kind of how it all happens. Those are my credentials, pretty much. Uh, you know, been an active wrestler since 2001. I started the school after joining the booking or, or pretty much promoting the show with my partner, Eric Pleska. Uh, so we ran two shows, did very well. I said, I want to open a school. And we did so. But that, I came along, shoot, it'll be two years in March. So I have not been promoting very long. The school has not been open very long, but it's been very, very, very successful. And talk about some of those like successes right now where, you know, we have a, we, right now your, your champion as of this taping is uh, part of the school. One of my favorite things is that, yeah, there are guys starting from scratch, and I have a lot of those guys, and some of those guys are current champions of PWS. Then we had guys like uh, Mike Dennis, who's known as Bonesaw, and guys like the Carino brothers, who I felt like were out there for, you know, whether it be four, five, six, seven, Justin Carino's been around for almost a decade, that didn't have, like, the fine-tuning. And I'm not even saying I taught him anything, because some of those guys, they already knew how to work. They knew it, but I would throw different personas at them and throw different directions at them and go, hey, try this, don't do that, and kind of show them a way to take them from where they were to just bring the best out of them. And I think I, uh, one thing is I try to show people's strengths and hide their weaknesses. And a guy like Mike Dennis, who was basically, in my opinion, kind of invisible for a while, just kind of a guy on the show, just another, you know, decent looking kid, decent builds, could wrestle a little bit. So now he's our feature performer. He's our guy, he's our champ, he's our homegrown. I mean, fans come to the show dressed like him. I mean, he's got a 
building up his own following. And that's all credit to him. I just kind of opened the door and he just kind of went right through it. Yeah, and uh, one thing you brought up a little earlier was a little bit about the uh, the money situation. A lot of people are always a little scared yeah. going to pro wrestling, uh, but you have a very fine-tuned kind of system. Mm -hmm. Could you explain that a little bit? Sure. Uh, if you go, for all the people watching, if you don't go to my school, that's fine, uh, but check it out. Most schools will be like, you know, they'll do a payment plan thing. They'll sign you to a contract. A lot of them, especially these old-time guys, will be like, try to pay your money up front so they can just get you out right away. Uh, here, I don't believe in that. It's a pay-as-you-go system. There's no contracts. You pay $200 a month to train, 500 for three, or if you want to put down a lifetime thing, you can. But it's, you don't want to be here after the end of the month and go home. Uh, that's just how it is. So if someone signs up and doesn't like it, they don't come back and I'm not going after them for money. I'm not trying to kick them out. Uh, I want to say realistically, we probably had about, everyone who signed up for the school, we probably kept about 85% of them. We've had a couple people drop off that just aren't right for professional wrestling. We've had some people drop off because they just, they, they couldn't hack it. Or, you know, they have a nagging injury, which is not for them. It's not for everybody. But the thing is that if you have the right heart, the right passion, um, you know, I don't discriminate against anybody. Some I have guys come in here in shape and, uh, and get in better shape. Other guys come in here that have been pretty much monstrosities. I, I've worked with them and they've lost some weight. Or I found things that guys are struggling at wrestling. Hey, what do you think about being a manager? Uh, and it's not one of those things where I don't want managers to come in here and stand outside the ring and just watch matches. There's a craft to it. There's an art to it. If people want to, you know, if people want to join for a variety of reasons to be a referee, I take great pride in refereeing. I was a referee down in FCW. So if you want to be part of this business, I think this is the most cost, cost affordable and most genuine way you can do it. And hence the point as the student ratios probably over 30, 35 guys right now. And we're located here in Metuchen, uh, Rahway. You know, any reason why this area was a pick for you guys? I mean, I know this is like, uh, like kind of like your home base here. Yeah, it's but a, yeah. Any reason why you, this spot was the right way to go? I mean, the spot where we're at right now for the school is, I don't want to say it's a makeshift spot, but what happened was we were dead set in the Rahway Recreational Center and most likely we're going back there very soon. However, Hurricane Sandy came and kicked our butt and destroy the building uh, from the floor up and it's still a year and a half later being repaired. So at this point now, we're here in Metuchen. We've been here close to, gosh, it's, it'll almost be a year. Uh, we're happy here. Um, we're gonna keep going until the doors open there. But uh, yeah, this, is our, this place was lucky enough to, not many places wanna have a wrestling ring inside. Right. This place has been very good to us at the Sportsplex. So uh, this is why we're here. It's next to Rahway. I live in Rahway. So, uh, you know, this is our home away from our home while we wait for it to be repaired. And uh, if you had any advice to anybody who uh, maybe is looking to get into professional wrestling again, uh, what could you say to them on why PWS school is the right one? I think I won't say anything to them. I'll let them kind of draw their own conclusion. If you're interested, show up to the school, watch a class. What I will say is I think this goes more for guys that think that they're in already. If you're three months in, six months in, a year in, and you know, and you think that wrestling training is just get trained and then you hit shows, you're wrong. To me, this is like a sport where you never stop, you never stop getting in shape, you never stop doing drills, you never stop fine tuning your craft. You know, not, none of us on the independents have a full time schedule like a WWE performer where they're on the road, you know, 300 days a year. You need to be in that ring, you need to be working on your wind, you need to be working on your cardio, you need to be working on your footwork, on your strikes, on everything. And it's a year long, I'm in there doing every single drill with my students. Uh, and all the outside guys, guys like Dan Mopp, guys like Mo, uh, Mo Sexton, guys like uh, Kevin Matthews, they constantly do the drills because it's not like you get, most independent guys get trained and then they just go to shows. For us, it's kind of, I treat this like it's the NFL or like the, that athlete mindset. You keep training because you're gonna get rusty you're, and there's always something more to learn. So for those guys that think like, ah, oh, I'm already trained, I don't need a school, you're probably wrong. You're probably not at the caliber that you could be or should be. Tonight we're here for an open night where you're allowing anybody who wants to become a professional wrestler uh, to come into the show and kind of experience what PWS is about. And uh, talk about that idea and how that's been successful in the past. Well, it started with the original class. I originally had 12 guys that signed up for the school, uh, kind of like an open house. And all I did was sit them down and talk to them and go, this is what I'm willing to offer you if you just believe in it. You guys are here for a reason, because anyone who's walking through the door have at one point, or at some point, thought about being a professional wrestler. I'm gonna explain how everything works, what, what's expected of you, what, how far you can go, and what your limitations may, be, may or may not be. Just basically a glimpse. I think half of it's gonna be just showing up and people kind of seeing like, 
wow, there's guys in the ring that are training that are not so much different from their own. That wrestling, I think wrestling school is a bad mantra on it where it's that you're gonna get your ass kicked or you're not big enough or you're not uh, young enough or you're not old enough or whatever it may be. But for me, I'm just looking for people that really genuinely like this business and it's gonna allow them to have a glimpse into it and go, you know what, if there, if there was a time, you know, yeah, the, don't live, I don't want to live with regret. I know people like sometimes go like, ah, maybe I should have done it. But what's it going to kill you? Show up, join the school. You don't like it for a month, get out. You just say you can do it. And we've had people have done that. They go, you know what? This isn't for me. I'm better off being on the other side of the railing. But if you want to come aboard, I guarantee you, this is the place to do it. Thank you for joining us. And how can people get in touch with you and, uh, and also PWS as far as a website? Uh, I'm pretty easy to find. Buck never stops on Twitter. Uh, Pat Buck on Facebook. ProWrestlingSyndicateStaff.com, ProWrestlingSyndicate.com. Just come out and support and check out what we're doing. Uh, thank you very much, Pat. Thanks, thanks for coming in tonight, and thanks for joining us on Pro Wrestling Paros TV.
And that's uh, two guys that have been about a year and a half in. All right, so you can see the different levels of, uh, you know, quality of work. As time. And uh, we can pick that apart too, but you can see as people progress and stay with it, you know, it's a craft. It's more than just like learning it and that's it. That's all, nothing pre-planned. Get in there, pull up the ring. That's when you know you're a good professional wrestler. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Pro Wrestling Powerhouse TV with two of the PWS school guys. Uh, introduce yourselves. Uh, Dave Destruction. Chris Payne. All right, guys, so talk about the school a little bit. Uh, you both have been here for quite a while. Uh, who's been here longer, would you say? Dave's been here. Dave's too. been here a little bit longer. Uh, so, Dave, talk about the school a little bit. Uh, we have open house tonight. Come to check it out. Uh, what, what's your advice to anybody who wants to join up with uh, PWS? Uh, to not get discouraged right away. I know that some of the people coming in here might say, like, it looks like it hurts. It does. I'm not going to lie. First couple months that we started about a year and a half ago in Rawway, uh, I was bumped up. I was bruised up. It was bad, you know, but don't get discouraged. They heal. All wounds heal. Ribs will not be sore anymore. And just stick with it. You know, if you want it bad enough, you know, this is the place. This is probably the only place that will, you know, affordable and it'll teach you the right way. And that's why this guy came on. You know, he heard about us and the rest is history. He started his own his own thing. Yeah. Yeah, All right, Chris, so you're here at PWS. You're now part of the Untouchables. Uh, talk about the experience of the school and uh, being a part of the roster. Uh, the school is just great, you know, uh, a lot of camaraderie, uh, a lot of friendships, you know, great place to work. Everyone's always cheering everybody on. Everyone's always working hard, killing themselves. And, uh, you know, the experience has been, you know, it's it's great. Like, I come here, you know, it's it's what I love to do. I do it with a great bunch of guys, a couple of girls. And uh, I look forward to it every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And, you know, no, it's, it's just it's a great place to be, great learning experience. You learn from the best trainer in the business right now, definitely on the East Coast. And he's got some great talent around him helping us out too. So, I mean, no other place I want to be right now than here. Uh, talk about some of the cool seminars. Have there been any, any good seminars that you could point out that some of the big uh, names came to? And uh... Yeah, I had, I had a good time with... Uh, Goldust in December. Um, before him was Matt Hardy, and then uh, Lance Storm was going to be here, and Davy Boy Smith was here, and you know the, the list goes on and on. It's great because Pat's got a lot of friends in the business, and they're they're all willing to do him favors because he's doing it the right way. You know, nobody's uh, getting any spotlight undeserved. You know, so everybody's putting in their work. My my most fun time was with you know Dustin. Uh, Goldust is down to earth guy. You know, taught us, it was about an hour and a half seminar, Chris was in it, um, and it's funny because that night I had a match, my first singles match ever with Damian Gibbs in December, and uh, he had, we had run over a couple things with him, with, with Goldust, and he said, okay, this don't do this, this, and this. So we didn't listen, and we did this, this, and this, and then in the back, we went up to him, and I said, hey, what'd you think? He goes, uh, you know, I told you not to move to six, and you're up at three, and I was like, Anything else, you know? But he made it. He made it. It was very lighthearted. It is awesome. He is an awesome guy to learn from, and everybody that comes in here. Every other week, we got Kurt Hawkins in here, you know. So he's helping us out too, and seasoned vets like Dan Moff and Mo Sexton, and, and even the Carinos are here every every week. So we got a lot, a lot, a lot of help. Yeah, and would you say too, uh, when you uh, look at the PWS brand itself, uh, where do you see in the next year going forward? Even the school, but the PWS as well. I just see us growing. I mean. We never have a boring show. It's always, always something different. Always something, always something there for everybody. You know, young, old, whatever. We always have throwback stars, and then we have new, tons of new talent, always coming in. And going forward, I just see nothing but, but you know, success. I mean, we we have bigger shows every show. So I mean, it just gets better and better every time. And you never know who's going to show up. Literally, it's always, always a good experience. Yeah, and uh, wow, that was just totally awesome what I just saw. All right, well, Peter, yep. <laughs> Pro Wrestling Powers and TV, Peter, just like together. It's like we're one happy family. I can't control myself. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us here today. Uh, Chris, Dave, we appreciate you coming on. Absolutely. And good luck with your wrestling careers, uh, and we hope the best for you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.